Hey everyone, Andang here for some more Lotro content. Today we're starting the Black Book of Mordor and I am so excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. We're having a good evening stream and early morning for some of us stream. Uh, we'll see how well this goes tonight, but uh, it, it should be interesting. And uh, also, a big thanks to our most recent subscriber. Here we got a new Twitch sub, Darain the Sane. Thank you so much for the sub, really do appreciate it, buddy. And also, I wanted to show you guys something. This is something new that uh, some of the other Twitch streamers have started doing, and I thought might as well try it here as well. And that's that we now have a uh, Twitch uh, subscriber tracker to basically get the sub train going. So essentially, every time somebody subscribes to the channel or resubscribes after you know it renews every month. Uh, they this will now start and basically the goal is to try to keep the ring from going to Sauron and we'll see if that happens so anyway big thanks again to Darain the Sane for their sub and we've been getting all sorts of followers today because today the new giveaway did just drop so I'm gonna go ahead and type in the link to that if you guys haven't got into this month's giveaway go ahead and do that as well so anyway, let's go ahead and hop into Lotro here, which will hopefully be loaded. We can only hope. There we go. Sometimes it takes OBS a minute to get it all loaded up. But anyway, we're still in Dol Amroth because that's where we left ourselves. And I honestly don't remember where the Black Book of Mordor starts. So it should be <laughs> entertaining to find where that is. I believe it starts just outside of Mordor, right? Hopefully that's the case. We might have to look it up here in a second. But anyway, we're going to go over to the Stable Master here, which is apparently longer than I thought. We're going to have to mount up and make our way that way. So let's go ahead and do just that. Here inside Dole Emeroth. There we are. Gondor needs, needs your, your aid. aid. Yes, I know, buddy. All right, let's see here. That will be better. There we go. Let's go to Osgiliath and then on to hopefully start this black book. Here we go. Yeah, we are level 109, so we're way over-leveled for this content, so it should be good. Hopefully everybody's having a good evening tonight. How may I help you, friend? How may you help me? Well, you can't. Alright, Camp of the Host, Hen of the Noon. I think that's as close as we can get, right? Try that. Is that one? We'll have to wait till we get there to find out, I suppose. Here we go. So yeah, that's not the one we wanted. We wanted the Slag Hills. Here we go. How may I help you, friend? Take me to the Slag Hills, buddy. That murder field. Not, not gonna be good when we get there, I feel like. Alright, let's see what you got. These are troublesome times indeed. Okay, so yeah, this seems to be the place. This is not Will the Black Book of Mortal. Just the fellowship quest, but we don't do side quests on this character for the most part. And man, you can't. Interesting. It looks like the black or the black gate is not even there. All right. Let's see if we can look up where the black book of Mordor starts. Real quick here. Lotro. There we go. Lotro Wiki, my best friend. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Yes, yes. Where the shadows lie. Beyond the black gate. Perfect. Talk to Mithrin, dear, at the Black Gate. Mm, da, 
da, da, da. All right, so yeah, we should just be able to go right inside the Black Gate and get there to Mythvendia. And potentially simply walk into Mordor. Just gonna hop over that. And gradually make our way through these dark lands. So yeah, this is the after the battle version here. Oh jeez. Damage starting already. Oh, door already doesn't like us. We're gonna get a little closer and then we'll switch back over to just a here we go. There there is Mythrendir. Wait, what? <laughs> Alright. Hello, Mythrendir. You might not be the Mythrendir we're looking for. Adventurers have begun taking steps through the ruin of the Black Gate. Alright, so I guess he wants us to go inside. Once we get to where the entrance was... Nope, we're not We're not in Mordor yet. Don't lie to me, game. We're waiting till we're at the start of their territory. That's like a sign for like you're entering this city like, you know, miles and miles and miles ahead of where the city actually is. We will simply walk into Mordor. So help me. Right, this this looks like a good spot. <laughs> they still have not gotten all the floating textures out of here. After all this time, we're gonna we're gonna take a screenshot of that so we can bug report it later. All right, we have successfully made it into Mordor, where the shadows don't tell the truth. All right, we don't we don't want any of your side quests, buddy. This is a Black Book of Mordor only playthrough. Do these adventurers think the fall of Sauron emptied his land of evil? It's a great question. It is as I thought. Some few of these adventurers are made of stern stuff, but most of them are not prepared for the dangers that await them. Do they think the fall of Sauron has emptied his land of evil? Aye. They believe none remain to guard his treasures. And they hope to have the picking of his coffers. But I must urge caution. Many of the artifacts that might be found within Mordor will be wholly evil or corrupted beyond any use by good folk. Most of these adventurers do not know the first thing about dealing with such fell entrapments. Speak to them, Staff Dang, and try to dissuade them from such hasty courses. Or at least, give them these warnings, so they will not blunder into their fates all unawares. After they are duty warned, you should journey ahead and see what foes await us in Adun. Look too for the forges, where the weapons with which Sauron equipped his armies were made. Oh, quest icons galore. I am a scholar from the Houses of Law in Minas Tirith. Oh, yeah, you. Knowledge awaits us. Mm hmm. I know you, Staff Deng. Or rather, I have heard tales of many great deeds you have performed, and to a scholar that feels like much the same thing. My name is Kovadil, and I am a scholar from the Houses of Law in Minas Tirith. My master sent me to acquire artifacts and knowledge that might be found in Osgiliath following its recapture. But that seemed a bit on the dull side for me. 
I may have gotten a little carried away. But I challenge you to describe a more likely place to find artifacts and knowledge than the land of Mordor, where the shadows don't tell the truth, which has remained closed to us for so long. You cannot do it, can you? Nay, I thought not. That is why I asked the question. I feel like she's majorly talking down to us. Because she is, but anyway. You give Kovadil the warning of Mithrandir, and she smiles eagerly. Oh yes, I will not take anything we find in there for granted. Physically, I will take it, of course. <laughs> Pick it up and carry it gently and carefully, so as to protect anyone else from harm, and bring it back to the Houses of Lore for study. Thank you for the warning. Very useful things to have warnings. Folk are always giving me warnings for some reason or another. I think it makes them feel better. All right. Jeez, that lady. That lady. All right. Can Sauron truly be gone from Mordor? Hmm. I respect the warnings of Mithrandir, but I do not need it. For I am Hathalin, and this is not my first adventure in the Black Land. I fought at the side of High King Gilgalad during the Battle of Dagoland. I know well the subtleties of Mordor. Many of my friends fell before the Black Gate, and many others met their end on the slopes of Ordruin. I wish to pay my respects to those who fell long ago, and I have one other purpose beyond that. I have returned to Mordor with an abundance of caution, for I disbelieve that Sauron can truly be gone. Have we not heard this tale before? I desire to see proof with my own two eyes. For he is a master of trickery and deceit, and has escaped death time and again. What is different now? I welcome your assistance, Staff Deng. We will need to rely upon our friends when we journey in the realm of Sauron, whether he be truly dead or no. So this is a side quest. You know, we'll do the Mordor right, waits just because we normally do that first quest. For there we go. But yeah, we're not doing not doing any more, buddy. You can't suck us in. No, no, this is a Black Book of Mordor only series. The Vale of Udum lies ahead, and its treasures are ready for the taking. Hail, friend, and welcome to Kirith Gorgor. The Vale of Udum lies ahead, beyond Kirith Gorgor. And all its attendant, attendant treasures are ready for the taking. I am Rogrim, and I am a soldier of Gondor. I fought on the Pelennor and before the Black Gate, and now I am prepared to seize the spoils of war from the clutches of the vile orcs who fought for Sauron. They say he is dead, and I believe it. I was fighting at the base of one of the Slag Hills when the Mountain of Fire shook all of Mordor, and I felt that blast in my very bones. The Dark Lord was much nearer to the mountain than that, perhaps on, it, perhaps on its very slope, and not even he could survive that. Could he? No, I think not. It is only right that Gondor reaps the rewards of victory. You tell Rogrin of Mithrandir's warnings about the artifacts that might remain in Mordor. And he scoffs. I know dark magic when I see it. And I will not go near anything of that sort. I want gold and silver and gems. Those are the spoils I understand. And those are the spoils I seek. The wizard need not worry on my account. I take care of myself. Oh boy, you're doomed. 
It is an honor to meet you, for I have heard tell of your great deeds. You have done in the service... I need to find the voice. You have done in the service of Middle-earth. I would appreciate your help and your guidance in Mordor, if you would provide it. For I have a task of my own I wish to undertake in the Black Land. I am called Anoth, and I am a ranger of Athelion. I walked the woods for Faramir, and will again if he commands it. But my heart urges me in another direction, and my feet will follow. For I am a descendant of the Thandrim, men of Gondor who dwelt within the bounds of Mordor and kept a watch on the evil that stared there. The Thandrim built the great fortress of Durthand, the Black Shield, and from its high parapet they kept watch over a doom. But in time, the watch became less, and their numbers dwindled. And the Thandrim failed. I wish to honor their memory and take vengeance upon the creatures of Sauron that slew them. Will you aid me? You give Anoth the warning of Mithrandir, and he nods. I will not take... I will not care for tre... I do not care for treasures, Staffdeng. All I seek is to honor the memory of the Thandrim, for their blood runs in my veins. Kinda of creepy. And now we just randomly defeat foes in a dune. Great. Cause we are going to fight Mordor nearly single handedly. As per usual. Hey, we got mail. Too bad we're not near mailbox. We also got marks. I think there's actually a mailbox in this first camp up here. Uh, but we will get our first taste of how how bad Mordor could be for us, or how good. Uh, we'll see how this combat goes here. It will be, hey, there's a page. We will do the pages, because that kind of goes with the black book. Da, da, da. Over seven oh. years later, after siege, strife, and victory, did Isildur return as king and conqueror to the Vale of Udun. Cool. Alright, well we are now within Mordor, and we have the Shadow of Mordor. We don't have any of the Light of Arendil. Or is it Elendil? No, it's Arendil. Good. Hard to remember sometimes. Alright, let's go ahead and... Wow, those soldiers are over-leveled for us. But the Stable Master's on level, and so is Amir. <laughs> That's sad when the soldier is a higher level than Amir. Clearly they've been out, like, sent out to go level up, and Amy is just back here, like, yeah, not not doing too much, just just hanging out, you know, as you do. Come, come. All right. We have no orders, no captain, not half our force. You would have us do what? Dang. Times are not great here. Now, I think we do need to do this quest. Yeah, we... I guess we don't have to do the quest. Can we just purchase it without the quest? Is there aught what you need? Where do we purchase it from? From one of the High Enchanters. How may I be of service to you? Yeah, we don't have to do the quest, alright. Yeah, we're not gonna do the quest. I'm serious, we are just doing the Black Book of Mordor. Because, yeah, that doesn't... Alright, good deal, good deal, good deal. Anything we need here? I don't think so. Uh, there is the mailbox we need to get to, I suppose. Hey, our auction went through. Cool. Good deal, good deal. What are these? What are those? 
Uh, not as good. And yeah, not as good. All right. I don't think we can use. Yeah, we don't have any anything that can be disenchanted. Alrighty. Well, let's find an enemy and fight them. That's what we got to do. We got to defeat foes in the doom. I don't know why I said it that way, but there you go. Here's where that first enemy is. Here we go. Alright. 106 Forge Worker. Okay, okay. We can we can deal with that, right? No problems there, right? Yeah, then this'll be easy. What's the worst thing that could happen? The worst thing that could happen. Oh, I guess we have quested in here a little bit on one of the streams, I think, because we wanted to see if we were strong enough back then, way before we had all these upgrades to our gear and everything else. And also, I think they did decrease the difficulty at the start of Mordor and made it a more gradual curve up, if I remember right. So that'll work in our favor as well. Let's see, you're not doing too bad of damage against us, so that's good. And we're leveling up LIs, good deal, good deal. Okay, yeah, got that. Good deal, good deal. <clears throat> All right, we need to we need to cancel that quest. I'm not completing quests in Mordor on my watch. I'm only doing this. Oh, geez, getting ambushed. Well, thankfully they attacked Hairball, and not us. Right, let's get that lightning NATO in. Oh yeah, we're geared decent. This is good. Okay, yeah, well, this is easier than it was on our champion. Good deal. I was worried since we were on a light class it might be difficult, but no. No, it is not. Okay. I mean, we were overleveled on our champion too, if I remember. Not the start, but we got there. down here. Da 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 How dare you hit me, dwarf? Goodbye. Get that ring of fire. All right. Search a dune for the forges of Mornor. Okay. That's right, they're down there. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Oh, we do need to turn airball off of aggressive. Uh, da, 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 passive. There we go. We don't want to fight everything in Mordor. Oh, hey, it went away. Good. So, I think we did do pop-up quests, if I remember right, back in the day. So if it's a pop-up quest, we might do it. I don't know, that kind of skirts the line. It's one of those edge cases. Alright, let's make our way on around. Get on up to Mornor. No weapons or armor yet. What's this? Uncut gemstone, okay. Interesting, interesting. This is what happens when <laughs> we're all concerned about staying on the path in Mirkwood, but in Mordor we're just like, no, let's go everywhere. What's the worst thing that could happen? That archer found us. Good for you, archer. Good for you. Just explosions. 
All right, looks like a happy fortress. I'm sure we'll be fine there, right? Yeah, t we'll be we'll be fine. We'll be fine. But we're actually going over there. Discovered the road to Mono. Great. And we just need to find the forges. So yeah, we should probably be fighting them enemies along the way to get gear. But uh, yeah, I guess we're not doing that. Not right now. He he got pulled. I'm sure there'll be plenty to fight up here. Alright, this is an archer. We'll go ahead and drop down and take them on. No loot. I don't know if it would be that feasible to do like a no gear run of Mordor. I think you'd have to get gear in Mordor, right? Interesting thought. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't like about Mordor was is like every other enemy had gear, not all of them. Kind of frustrating. But you know, what ifs. Okay, here we are. You found the forges of Mornor, where Sauron equipped his armies. Oh, hey, buddy. How fared you on the journey into Udun? I must admit, I faced more foes than I believed I would. But I proved stronger than they. I took the weapon from one of the orcs I slew, and noted its craftsmanship. I would not have expected such a fine blade in the hands of one such as he. Perhaps he was a commander of some sort. Do the orcs organize their armies and fighting companies in the, s in the same fashion as the men of Gondor? Bah! These questions are pointless. What matters is this. He is dead, and I am not. And I have come to the forges from which this sword may have been made. Let us ensure that no more of its kind come forth to trouble us. Push over some of the anvils here and render them difficult to use. Oh, oh. <laughs> that will slow down any production of further weapons and help our efforts in our doom. He's just so small. Yeah, we're gonna slow him down. Here we go. So crafty, this guy. Alright, that's all we have to do is touch the anvils. We don't have to worry about anything else here. Forge fires of a dune. Alright. Can find all of them. Let's go ahead and fight you and you. Get this page over here. Because we will do the pages. Sauron returned, and once again the forges blazed. Great stockpiles of orc arms were smithied, but the old alloys and dark enchantments were remembered too. So if I remember right, that voiceover was not in place originally when Mordor came out. They had to add it in later. So it's cool to hear it now. Still no gear. Alright, buddy. Goodbye. Oh yeah, we're getting all the anvils, no problem. No problem. Some lightning. Four out of five. Can we get five? 
I mean, I, I hope I can. Okay, time to talk to him. I'm guessing not exactly. Any, yeah, he's still at the front. Okay. There's some Mordor flame for you. Okay. Well, that was easy. I feel like we pressed the easy button and we're just plowing right through this. Wow. Totally different from when it initially released. Well done, my friend. Let us see those orcs try to forge new weapons now. I mean, they'd have to hammer on the side of the anvil, and they, they'd never do that. We have at least made it more difficult, yes. <laughs> yes. If not outright impossible. While you worked to accomplish that task, I stood on the cliff's edge and beheld a rather large movement of orcs and trolls moving from the south to north on the floor of the valley. Perhaps you can see what they are up to, Staff Teng. It will be nothing good, that much is certain. But there may be treasure in it, or knowledge worth having. Any enemies you defeat while you search will also help others among our soldiers and will be no waste of effort. I saw that group of orcs and trolls in the basin of the Vale, northeast of the crag, on which Durthang stands, if you wish to investigate. Giving us more stuff to look at, alright. We're still safely in the 106 range. Okay, so we need to go up there and do that. And that apparently is it. Also defeat foes, but they're not on the not on the thing. So we just gotta defeat foes along the way, apparently. That's easy. Goodbye. Man, we're gonna be declining quests all all of this Mordor area, aren't we? My oh my. There we go, there we go. Level up. Loot all of that. Okay, let's go ahead and mount on up. Get more points, okay. Good for us. We'll dismount again here, I guess. Good as any other spot. Man, we weren't even thinking of pulling multiple enemies back in the day. But now in our lore master, it's like easy mode. Lightning, there we go. And we got a ways to go, so we'll go to mount up and try to make our way through here, no problem. No problem at all. Sure. There will be a problem. Actually, I had to move it that way for once, alright. It's almost always the other one. Here we go. A number of dead orcs and trolls lie here. What has caused the infighting? Huh. Well, that's interesting.
Double. Okay. You gotta be kidding. We have to go all the way back? Alright. See, when you're actually questing through here, you don't notice things like that because you're just doing all the side quests and it's all okay and you don't have to worry about it. But man, I think we're gonna bleed through these areas way faster than I expected. Hey Slade, thank you so much for the raid! Got that Slade raid! Really do appreciate it, bud. Welcome, welcome. Cuddles Wolves, welcome to the chat. Champion, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Slade, welcome to the chat. It's a Slade raid! Sniggy's Sniggy, welcome to the chat, nice to have you here. Love the emotes, love the emotes. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Sniggy's Niggy? Sniggy's Sniggy? I don't know. Something like that. Thank you so much for following. Did you find the orcs and trolls I saw from the height? You tell Rogren that you found a number of dead orcs and trolls, and it seems they argued among themselves and died from the infighting. Or just Sniggy for short, right? How very like orcs, Staftang. I do not doubt they would pose more of a threat if they could work together. But their penchant for squabbling leaves them vulnerable to their own fellows. They are weak-minded creatures, and in the absence of Sauron, they do not know what to do. Still, we should not underestimate them, for they can pose a threat to us in great enough numbers. Ah, that reminds me. Did you see Anoth while you traveled? When you tell him you did not, Rogrin frowns. I climbed up here with him. But he left shortly afterward, and has not returned. I hope he is alright. He's not alright, we're in Mordor! <laughs> you must be one of those who can say it, kinda. Cause wolves, just wait. Uh, once they have a craving for man flesh, they can work together just fine. <laughs> right, right. They'll they'll be fine once they realize that they all like man flesh. All right. Did you speak to Anoth in Kirith Gorgor? As we traveled into a doom, he spoke to me of his ancestors, the Thandrim, and told me all the sad history. He holds in his heart the grief of their deaths, though most of them died more than a thousand years ago. He desired to go to the fortress of Durthand, which was their watch post, and reclaim it from any orcs who possess it. He's gonna go single-handedly to go retake a fortress in Mordor? One doesn't even simply walk into Mordor, let alone go take fortresses single-handedly. My, oh my. But when you made the account, I did not expect uh, foreign, so it's <laughs> say it correctly. I thought they were courageous words, but as I look out at the dark skies over Gorgoroth, I wonder if there was a touch of the fool in them. Anoth may be in the right, but he is only one man. And Durthand could be filled with orcs. Yes, you must find him, if he still lives. 
<laughs> he's all concerned about him, but he's like, he might be dead. Oh, uh, maybe. And try to dissuade him from this course. I told you before, I desire wealth and treasure, and I do not understand those who seek anything else. This course of Anoths strikes me now as foolish in the extreme. The fortress of the Thandrim is to the southeast of us. See if the see it there, towering over the vale. Yes, it was called Durthand once, but I do not know what the orcs call it now. Find Anoth and render him what aid you can. I will go to rejoin the men of my company, and we will see what treasures await further within Mordor. So you're like, you go find him. I'm looking for treasure. Peace. Forns to say F U auto type. What does this sound like a certain elven archer that most people know and love? I don't know. I don't know. Why does it sound like a certain elven archer that most people love? Let's go find this guy inside that. Yeah, this is not gonna be pretty. Li level up. Good deal. Good deal. Not that it. Not that it really matters. We just care about this one. That's adding to our lightning and everything else, and of course our book of storms. Oh hey. He's not dead. But we might be if we don't fight this horde. Goodbye. Love that lightning. Alright. Let's talk, buddy. Careful, friend. I have already drawn the ire of the orcs. That defend this fortress. And they have sent a number of arrows my way. I returned the favor and slew two of the beasts from great range. They are remaining watchful. This was once Durthand, the fortress from which the Thandrim kept watch on a dune. It is called Durthang now, in mockery of its original name. That is another insult for me to avenge, and I will do it. You have my sword, and my bow, and my axe, and my vodka. Would you hear the tale of the Thandrim? I would recount it to you, so you will know why I want Durthang taken from the orcs. The tale is emblazoned in my memory. It will be a simple matter for me to tell it to you, so well is it known to me. Story time with Anoth. I will tell you the tale. <laughs> nah, you keep your weapons, but I'll take the vodka, right, Cuddles Wolves? <laughs> right? Absolutely. After the last alliance of men and elves defeated Sauron and raised his tower to the ground, a watch was placed on Gorgoroth. The men of Gondor built many fortifications within Mordor, such as the towers at the Black Gate, the Shadow Guard of Ost Dathir, and Durthand. For more than a thousand years, the Thandrim maintained the vigil of, on Mordor. But even the most important watches must wane. Oh, My dang, here we go. It begins more than a thousand years ago, when the watch on Mordor had already begun to fail. This is pretty cool. Man, seeing blue sky in Mordor, that's crazy. Namiel, thank you so much for the follow. Really do appreciate it. Blue skies in Mordor. All right. Well, let's talk, Anoth. We've gotten so many followers today. It's been insane. Mostly because we started that giveaway again. By the way, we have a giveaway this month. I should just be able to type that, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So if you guys are interested, we're giving away 
2,500 Lotro points. If you're already following, you already have a free entry, basically. You don't have to do anything. You just have to click a button, basically. And uh, if you're doing other things to interact with the channel, it can also get you extra entries into the giveaway. I have heard tales of the bravery of the Thandrim for all my life. They were a shining light of Gondor's goodness. Blazing with the shadows of Mordor, within the shadows of Mordor. See them now, where they stand, defiant and bold. Mechmalong, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Yes, I am in Durthang. I can see it so clearly, Staffdang. Durthand, the Black Shield, proud fortress of the Thandrim. It has been assailed many times, but still it stands defiant to Mordor. I see the features of men whose names my family honors to this day. Banor the Steadfast, who never speaks falsely. Nanhad the Quick, a fighter unmatched of unmatched speed. Get a picture of this guy. Come on, look at the camera. Look at the, there. You go. All right. Let's see. Where were we? All right. And most clearly of all, Helenon, from whom I trace my lineage. We must not despair. That is the weapon of the enemy. In Gondor today, he is known by another name, the Survivor. One year before the fall of Durthand, assassins creep into the towers at, Mor at the Moranin. Every man of Gondor within the Moranin is slain. Banor, hell on! We are cut off from Gondor. No one can reach us. Then we... We are done. The morale of the defenders flags with these tidings. King Ernil tries to send reinforcements to Durthand, but they cannot pass the Black Gate. The Thandrim do not know this, of course. They believe themselves abandoned. Food stores run low and hundreds fall to starvation. There are distasteful rumors. But I do not believe them. I have tarried here over long in the telling of my story. I will hasten the tale. By the onset of winter, few only among the Thandrim remain survived. That is when the forces of Mordor Come once again to Death End. Up above, the flying beast returns. Oh, dang. That's not good. Who are you? A Grucor. Dang. Not happy times here in Mordor. I'm sure you're afraid of the fire there, but don't worry about it. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right. Do that too. There we go. All right. Let's talk, buddy. Three only there are, but they are figures out of a nightmare. Two are the beings we have come to know as the Nazgul, the Ringwraiths of Sauron. The third may have been a man once, but through the foul sorceries of his master in the Dark Tower, he has become something else. He is a Grukor, the captain of the pit. He comes now to Durthand with an offer. 
Oh, dang. What do you want, Tagukor? State your business and go. Where are the rest of your men? This cannot be all that remain. There are more within this keep. What do you want? These men can barely stand. Your supply of food must be gone. Or nearly so. I am moved to pity. You cannot think to hold this fortress any longer. Allow me to grant this boon. In recognition of your proud defiance. Surrender to me now. <laughs> you are a fool if you think we will. I might come back in a day with the same offer. I might come back in a month or in a year. Will you still be alive to accept the offer? Surrender to me now, and I will grant your safe passage back through the Black Gate. The fortress is lost. Grant me this place, and you need not perish in its defiance. Forget the chainsaw, I'll give a BFG and let it try to figure out how to use it. <laughs> there was a video on YouTube where Finnish man filmed a bear coming on his front porch and try uh, to take trash. That man yelled, God damn it. <laughs> and bear flees after th that he goes uh, confront the bear with a broomstick? What? With a broomstick? Forget the broomstick. I'd bring the vodka and rum instead. Right? Right? Oh my goodness. Why chase the bear? Just let the bear be. Should they have refused? Every man there knew a Grucor for a liar, but the pit of despair into which they had fallen could not be surmounted. They had been hardy men once, but a year of starvation and fear must have taken its toll. No doubt their fear was made stronger by the presence of the Nazgul. I cannot understand the draw of even the faintest of hopes in that dark pit. The Thandrim surrendered to a Grucor. Durthand was lost. Oh, dang. Hey, Athelion. Good times, good times, happy skies. Let's turn you around so we can get a good thumbnail here. No, you, you don't turn? You don't turn? You're just... Alright. Okay. Well, I guess we won't turn you around. Interesting. He's like, I'm only talking to you this way, buddy. <laughs> but it sounds like a fun time, right? Fighting that bear. Oh, yeah. So, so much fun. Oh my goodness. You can link in if you want? Yeah, please do. I'll check this out. The Thandrim cast aside their weapons, and beneath the Grucor's watchful gaze, they marched the Moranin. Now held by the orcs, the gate opens. Sixty men, all that remained of the Thandrim, Pass through the gate. At a signal from a Grucor, the archers on the walls fill the air with death. Dang. All of the Thandrim were slain, save one. 
Oh dang. Oh dang. They passed the black gate unharmed. I promised nothing afterward. Why? Why let me live? Go to your white city. Tell them a new captain rules the pit. Dang. Here's the thing. A Grucor reminds me a lot of Karsgar. I don't know about you guys, but he reminds me a lot. Uh, let's see here. I think it's here. Overhead. Yep. There we go. Man, those eyes. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the eyes are just like barely creeping through the helmet. Uh, can you post links in chat? You can uh you can try posting a link in chat and if not, you can whisper it to me. Let me make sure I'm actually on Twitch real quick. I'm not, so let me get over there. Yeah, you can try link it in chat or try whispering it to me. Hey, you can. All right. I'll check that out as soon as this instance is done. Let me exit out of that so we don't get extra bandwidth. There we go. All right. Let's take one like that. And... All right. That's good enough. Can we turn him around? Nope. Okay. That is the story of the Thandrim Staffdeng. Only Halon survived, and his account is kept in the archives of Minas Tirith. It is Trainan, Thronad, the survivor's tale. I say the tale is ended, but that is not truly so, Staffdeng. Halanon's descendants, the sons of the survivor, did not forget the Thandrim. Neither did Agrukor forget them. The years and centuries passed. From time to time, scouts from the White City would find that Agukor had been in Gondor. He had left one of the cloven shields of the Thandrim behind. They were reminders of his cruelty. Go away, Harewell. Even now, a thousand years later, he leaves them still. Now, you know the tale. Dang. All right, let's talk, buddy. And so it was that only one of the Thondream came alive out of Mordor that day. Alanon survived, but he was ever changed. And he swore to avenge his fallen friends and kin. He never did. But on his deathbed, he asked his sons to remember what had happened at Durthand. And to swear that they would do what he had not. But the years have passed. And the sons became fathers. And their sons became fathers. And they told the story of the Thandrim. But they did nothing to avenge them. It seemed that Mordor and Agrukor would escape judgment. Dang. So here's the thing. Oaths are horrible. Always. Always horrible in Middle-earth. 
You never want the oaths. Don't do the oaths. If oaths are bad, you don't do the oaths. Here we got them doing the oaths. Not good. I'd take him to the volcano with me and make him watch me throw the, his ring in and then Sparta kick his butt in after. Right? NHL or Forza? I mean, out of context, Forza. But then it happens, Stafteng. The host of the West arose and defeated Sauron's armies in battle. The borders of Mordor were breached and Sauron was destroyed. Can this be anything other than the vengeance of the Thandrim, long delayed, but finally delivered? I don't know, but thanks for the gloves, buddy. <laughs> Thank thanks for the gloves. Ugrukor betrayed the Thandrim more than a thousand years ago, but my heart tells me that he lives still. So those aren't the best. I mean, they are a lot better with like will and vitality. Well, actually, it's less will because if we got those equipped on it. But the outgoing healing we don't need. Tactical mitigation is nice, but not really used that much. So, because not that many of them do tactical damage. But the light of Erendil is worth it. It gives us a bit of a buff. All right. Darn, NHL would be, uh, give me a good reason to open a beer. True, true. Agruko betrayed the Thandrim more than a thousand years ago, but my heart tells me that he lives still. Either through some dark act of Sauron's, or some other vile sorcery. Whatever the means of his presence, persistence, I am glad of it, for it means he will know who is responsible for his undoing. But worry not, I have not abandoned my caution. As I know Rogrin feared, I did not want to ruin with this with haste. I have seen orcs on the walls of Durthang but not so many as must have been stationed here during the war. I think Durthang does not have as many defenders as the orcs want us to think. Let us enter the fortress and see what is going on inside Stafteng. Defeat enemies inside Durthang, and if there are prisoners in the dungeons, we should set them free. They may know where... I can find a Gukor. So you just want to barge on in this orc infested fortress and you just you just think that's a good idea, huh buddy? It sounds like the worst thing I have ever heard. But you seem prepared. Huh. Alright. Well, let's go inside this fortress. Here we go. This sounds like a horrible idea. Sounds like a good way to go. Yeah, I guess. About as good as fighting a bear. Oh, hey. Orcs. But they're not inside, so we don't care. We only want to fight the indoor enemy. Let's make our way up the steps. Archer, stay away. Oh dang, now we're getting the... Yeah, it bumped up to 20. Okay, let's make our way inside. Okay, well, we're inside. 
get Airwall back. Forgot we dismissed him for a second there. Oh dang. Hello, buddy. Damage pretty bad actually. Probably should pay attention. Definitely should pay attention. These guys are actually tough. Not horrible still, but. Alright, so there's a quest for that too. Probably should have healed a little bit first, alright. Good deal, good deal. Three more. <laughs> okay, who's been teaching the enforcers to be stealthy? Whoever it was, stop it, right? Right? We don't need stealthy orcs. Do not need stealthy orcs. this being like legit difficult but it's not anymore goodbye we could just leave but we'll fight them too oh open cell doors in the dungeons well we haven't been going the right way apparently oh what's this a sorcerer's bobble all right this is part of a quest i think yeah destroying it yep 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 Nope, nope, nope. Oh, what's inside here? Let's look. See if there's anything useful. Also not... Okay. Well, we could get shoes. But that would be going against our... You know, we're not doing it. Going against everything we believe in. Um. So this is the place where we definitely don't want to go inside. We need to go down. Hey, Father Sedan, thank you so much for the follow, really do appreciate it. Got so many followers today, crazy. Alright, well let's make our way down, we'll follow this player. At least work with them. Um, so yeah, we can't go that way. Where's the way down again? It's been a while. Alright, here's a door, I'm guessing it's this way. It's been a day or two since I've been in here. Yep, this is going down. This is the right way. Alright. Let's just say goodbye. And keep going down. Here we go. Oh boy, see again with the Enforcer. I'm telling you guys, they are stealth. You were right, chat room. You were right. Even with two players, they still take a decent amount of time. That's nice. I actually like challenge. Because Lojo was without it for so long. Alright, so this isn't the room we're looking for. We want the other down. Which I think is on the other side here. Or maybe not even back here at all. I don't remember, honestly. Let's try over here. You would pick Stealthy Bear any day, <laughs> right? Always where you last look, yep. Let's 
So they, no offense to them, maybe they're holding back their skills too, but they don't seem to be doing as much damage. So it makes me wonder, are we just the overpowered Loremaster, or are they also overpowered as well? Alright, here's the room we were looking for. Right under your nose when you notice it's right there, uh, where you have looked for the past 15 minutes. Right? 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 Alright. No, we don't, don't need any of that. Alright. Open the door. Thank you, oh thank you. I don't know why I sound like this when I'm from Mordor. Goodbye. Prisoner cell is already dead, so they don't count. Dead prisoners are no prisoners. You could already tell because we weren't using the pickaxe for that one. We only bring out the pickaxe for the live prisoners. So if you're asleep, you're kind of screwed. We're just going to assume that you're dead. Apparently. I don't think we're inspecting people too closely here. Is it real? Can it be? Yes, it is real. And it can be. But you owe us. No, not really. We do this for free. Alright. No, 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 no. Don't buy don't buy the ally. He's oh I forgot this is where we meet you. Horizon. I forgot all about that. We set you free, man. That's gonna be an interesting quest. Alright, well we pulled another one of these. Go to Mordor. It's because you're not an orc or an uruk that's why you don't sound like you come from Mordor at all, right? Yeah, that's true. That's true. I think we got some major lag there, I don't know. Well, what's that other place? Iron Garden? So yeah, I think we're definitely between the two of us, the more powerful one here. So they, they're 107 too, that's part of it as well. Uh, no thank you. I Orson, I know that name. What about Olive Garden? <laughs> oh, we'll make him sound like he's all from Olive Garden. Why thank you for saving me, would you like to have the lasagna or would you like to have the chicken parm? I'll be serving your table tonight inside Durthang, you're welcome in advance. Honestly, Olive Garden's gone downhill so much that most of the food would taste like it's from Mordor. And there goes Olive Garden as a sponsor for the channel. <laughs> Never gonna happen. Wait. Staff Tech. What did he say his name was? Horizon. I know that name. Horizon the Wily was... A Kundalar leader who fought against Gondor. It is one thing to free the downtrodden of their captivity, but that was no villager or farmer. That was a battle hardened Easterling warrior. He has slain soldiers of Gondor and rangers of Athelion both. You have to get him back. He may still be somewhere in Durthang. Search in the northeast corner of the fortress, and I will search to the west. If we hurry, we might be able to catch him before he escapes and does further injury to Gondor. Alright, yeah, let's just chase him around this fortress. That sounded like a great plan. Yeah. Good deal. Have fun with that. 
You're just gonna lightning you away. Goodbye. Alright. Hello. <laughs> that is ridiculous. I did not expect we would be this overpowered still. Alright. We might have overprepared a little bit for Mordor. I was worried we were underprepared all this time. Okay. So we need to make sure that in the next book or two we get up to level 110 so that we can at least do the 115s and then we'll probably have to take a leveling break but we'll see the, the level cap just increased with this most recent one so yeah if we can get to 115 we'll be fine so let's see he said the northeast corner north south west east Why we go east-west instead of west-east when we read left to right, I'll never understand. Alright, well definitely not this room. Is it this room? We'll find out. The Guard of the Vault has been recently attacked. Oh, dang. That Easterling wretch got the jump on me, but I gave him as good as I get. Not enough to stop him from riding around the vault, but he'll be good as dead before he's gone a dozen steps from the fortress. My boys will stick him full of arrows. The trinket he took from the vault won't do him no good. He won't know how to use it. Good riddance to that vile thing. And to the Easterling too. You must be in league with him. And now you'll die same as he will. Alright buddy, here we go. You got it. Die! Yep, you died. <laughs> BSM Raider, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Saron had a little known cooking school in Mordor. I don't know, am I gone bad in NHL? I used to score backhand goals like 96%. Uh, same goes between legs. Good deal, good deal. Uh, there you go now. Their secret cooking skills are from... have been released to the public. <laughs> That's great. Yes. Olive Garden's secret. That all their food comes from Mordor. I mean, I'd believe it. Is it out this one? No, 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 no. It's not, right? It's back there. Not crazy. No, this is the main entrance, okay. Or at least their cooks come from Mordor, right? I mean, yeah, I suppose an active trade situation with Mordor would be pretty unlikely. Okay, let's take a path to the left. To the left, to the left. Loot all that. Good deal, good deal. We don't have enough LIs, we need more. We don't need more, we just... 
are looking for them casually. The cooking school's name was called Cooking with Sauron. I feel like the term courses would be very confusing in cooking school. Because you're talking about, you know, how many courses the meal has, and how many courses the classes has, and the classes? Yeah, I guess classes, plural. Classes have, that would be the correct way of saying that, alright. Goodbye. I Ozen fled, and I could not catch him. Staff tag. I knew a Ryzen fleeing from the fortress, but I was not able to catch him. Some of the archers up above fired at him, and never have I watched arrows, wished arrows more to, and never have I wished for arrows to hit their quarry so much as I wished for it then. But he was nimble. He got away. You tell Anoth that a Ryzen stole an artifact of some kind from the vault of Durthang. But you don't know what it was. Little secret, all I've gotten cooks from, uh, from more done. <laughs> Auto type. <laughs> hey, it's more done. It's more done in Mordor. Just very done food in Mordor. Very overcooked. Which is surprising, because you'd think that the orcs would like it raw. But the problem is, orcs are terrible cooks. So they can't cook it like they want it. Therefore you get more done. Which is also ironic, because they don't get anything done. So, anyway. That's the secret to all their recipes, right? And there's no, there's no warming rack in Mordor. Like... Maybe you put it by Mount Doom, but that's as close as you get, you know? So it's either like super duper hot and way overdone or cold and undercooked and just not good. And definitely not at all Italian. I used to love Olive Garden, but at least the one by me has gone way downhill. Thanks, Andang, for helping you level. That runekeeper was you. Oh, awesome. Congrats on the level. Very cool. Very cool. This is bad. We need to find him before he does real harm. And what might he have taken from the vault? I do not know why Iorzen was imprisoned, but we need to track him down. But it does not change the fact that he was responsible for the deaths of many good people during the war, Stefteng. I feel responsible for setting him free. So I need to track him down. I would appreciate your help at this. You didn't help me when I was going in the fortress. Why should I help you now, buddy? I saw him disappear around the rocks to the northeast. He must be heading for the Eisenmouth. The gate in... Karak Engrin, that bars passage from Adun to Dormarth. He must be trying to bring the artifact he stole deeper into Mordor. So have we ever... F what does Eisen mean? What, is, what does Eisen mean? Because I find it ironic that there's Isengard and Eisenmouth here. That's what I want to know. We need to look that up. I'll give Chad a while to let me know. If you guys don't know, I'll look it up. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we did read the paragraph. Okay. I saw him disappear around the rocks to the northeast. Hey, man, da -da 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 the gate in Karak Angrin. That bars passage. Yeah, we did read that. All right, I think we're all good. Okay. I forgot we read it. Come to find out later, there's secretly an employee of Olive Garden watching every stream, waiting to see there is slander to their name. Oh no. 
Just for the record, the views of Andang do not reflect the views of this channel, even though it's Andang's channel. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Oh, hello. Goodbye. But yeah, we've just been getting all sorts of follows since we started that giveaway. That's been crazy. Thank you everybody for all your support. Everybody that's new here, really do appreciate all of you tuning in. Also, big thanks for the Slade Raid. That was cool too. Ah! <laughs> I did not expect to make that noise. That was unplanned. Alright, let's just get hit by everything. How about we do that, huh? Oh great, we discovered Durthang's Eastern Stairs. I'm so happy about that right now. <laughs> that was just what I was wanting to do. I just care about that so much right now. Alright. Every five minutes, we gotta get rid of that quest. All right, Sniggy, thank you so much for joining the night. Let's see. Yeah, it's two eyes. Okay, we're good. Thank you so much for joining tonight. Appreciate it. 10 a.m. there. All right. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. here. 3 a.m. Eastern. And uh, I'm playing to stream for, let's see here. When did we start? I think we've only been going for like an hour, right? I think I can, hang on. Um, I think it's uptime. Is that the command? No, that's not the command. What is the command? All right, we're going to the Nightbot. We're going to find this out real quick. Hold the phone, everybody. That's the wrong button. Uh, there we go. All right, commands, custom commands. Okay, it's just live, okay. For one hour, 38 minutes, okay. So yeah, we'll be going for at least another two hours. Or hour and a half, I mean. Where's the command that... Oh, I guess that is the one I added. Interesting, interesting. Um... Oh, that's why. There we go, there's all the commands. Got all sorts of commands. I got, like, new commands. All sorts of fun. Alright, let's see here. Where were we? <laughs> Apparently, trying to cover our camera with hairball. Okay, so now we're going all the way to the mouth already. Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! Have some lightning. And some ints. That would be a surprise seeing an int here in Mordor, I feel like. Like, what ya? Or as Pineleaf would put it, Nurs got Ishu Gasha. Because that's what he said when he was an orc, or trying to be. Alright. And don't ask me to repeat that. I'm lucky I got it correct that first time. I had to find that audio clip. <laughs> Whenever anybody uh, follows, that should be the thing that plays. Pine leaf as an orc. Like 
surprisingly, Pineleaf does an amazingly good orc. But how nice he is all the time, I didn't expect it coming. Alright, let's make our way over here. Through the orcs and the arrows. Nope, avoiding you, avoiding you. Not avoiding you, apparently. Okay. Uh, let's try going this way. If Frodo could get through here, surely we can. <laughs> I just imagine... Man, I... That's a quest I wish I would have had uh, in here, is like a Gondor soldier comparing themselves to Frodo and being like, Frodo did it! Why can't we? That's what I want to see. Gondorians embarrassed by hobbits. We need like a hundred times more of that. I'm tired of these archers. Lightning time. Alright, let's see if he passed through here is I think what we're supposed to do. No, we're just trying to find it. Okay. I mean, I think that's the real reason, but... Quest just says find it. Craving Pringles now, man. You're gonna make me go get my Lay's chips out of the out of the pantry. Mm. Making me hungry. Make Malone. And we're nearly to the mouth of Eisen, which we need to find out what it means. We still haven't done that. We entered the other zone. Where? Red? Red? Oh, there's another quest up here. Okay. Didn't know we had waypoint quests. Benifos occupy the Eisen mouth. Did a Ryzen come this way? Alright, that's it. We're looking up Ryzen meaning. Meaning. What's the meaning behind Ryzen? The name Ryzen is a male name, Anglo Saxon. The name Ryzen is Anglo Saxon baby name. Ryzen uh, is iron, okay. So it's the iron mouth. Dang. That's, that's way more intimidating than I thought it would be. Okay. Good for you, game. The Iron Mouth. Wow, okay. That is a much cooler name. So Iron Guard is... What does Guard mean? Now we need to look it all up. Alright. Guard meaning... Garden. So it's the Iron Garden. Interesting. Not at all what I thought it meant. Alright. Where's this quest? Oh, we gotta defeat enemies near the eyes of mouth. That's right. Forgot about that quest. Alright, well, we'll defeat him. There's two. Got big and ugly here. What are you? Don't sniff. That's just creepy. Last time I put on cologne in Mordor. Why I did that in the first place is... Anyway, let's, let's just move on from that. Beer and Doritos? Man, you guys are gonna make me get food. I might just get club crackers. I don't even know. I don't even know. What really sounds good right now is cereal. Which is weird, I know, but at college, like, everybody would just eat cereal. Show the message to near the eyes of mouth? Okay, we gotta go back. College, at night, everybody would always be having cereal.
Are we actually passing into this zone? Where are we going? In here somewhere. To Anoth near the eyes of I think he's gotta be back, right? He can't be here. Okay, we'll go back. Hey, finesse. That's pretty good. It's not horrible, that's for sure. Alright. Good deal, good deal. Um, we'll go around. So I'm seriously thinking about this whole weekend and just streaming the Black Book of Mordor. Let me know what you guys think. Do you want to see Total War or do you want to see Black Book of Mordor? I might do a poll, but we might just burn through this. Because I'm really enjoying it. Did I Orson come this way? What is this? Did I Orson come this way or not? You show the message you recovered to Anoth, and he considers it for a moment. This is very interesting, Staffdeng. A Grucor must have commanded these orcs to close the Eisenmouth. But the doors were ruined in the blast from Orodrin, and the upheaval of Mor upheavals, plural, of Mordor. They could not shut them all the way. Fortuitous enough for us, mayhap. But even more so, it seems they have turned Easterlings away and not permitted them to pass the gate without the permission of a Gukor. Did they turn Orizen away? Is he still in Adun? Search Adun for an Easterling camp. There is one, Rudvorn, somewhere to the north. They may try to return to his people. He may try to return to his people. I thought they. Uh, let's see, before we accept this. To the captain of the pit, Agrucor, lord of Durthang. My guards did the best they could, but we can't shut the eyes and mouth as you commanded. The blast of heat from the mountain bent and twisted the doors, and now they cannot be fully shut. Some few passed through before we received your command. But we have now turned away orcs and Easterlings alike. None will get past us. I will send this message to you within, with one of my finer runners. May he reach you quickly. Keeper of Karak Angren. Karak Angren. Alright. Why we read it in that voice, I don't know. Rye bread and top butter? Oh my goodness. Salmon? Yeah, you guys are spoiling yourselves and me. I like how we went from beer and Doritos to that. Every five minutes. Can't really go that far in Mordor without having to actually fight. We could probably mount our way through here, but it's much safer and easier, and also more lootable to do it this way. <laughs> I thought this guy was another player at first. Legit. Well, there's an Easterling. We're seeing progress.
Typical Finnish food? Okay. Typical Finnish snack? Okay. Good to know, good to know. I think I might have to eat something here soon. You guys keep talking about that. <clears throat> Mordor warrior. I mean, we're definitely headed for the right spot. You can spot Easter and camp some miles away. This game doesn't really diversify them at all. They all are nearly exactly the same. I wish that they'd have more assets for them. Because it's kind of annoying. Like, every other enemy type changes up their camp entirely. One, two, finally took you long enough, buddy. together. Man, we should have done it on you. Should have done it on you. Well, hey, good thing we went to fight Easterlings after getting that extra tactical mitigation. Am I right? Am I right? Alright. Hey, a new quest. Still don't want it. There are way more pop-up quests than I had remembered. Wow, we are... Oof. Oof. That was... That was major damage there. What do we got on us? Some type of... Corruption. A deep wound. Well, that's not good. Whoop. Oh, we don't actually need to do that. No, I guess we did it. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Let's go back this way, shall we? Oh, jeez. What? Who? Who did we get? Okay. Oh, no. That's crazy. For that many seconds? Alright, let's use Inner Flame for a bit. Wow, interrupted us. Jeez, that's some serious... I wonder if that's supposed to be that strong, because that's way stronger than anything else we have to deal with. Good gravy. And now I just gotta find this guy along the road again. Well, you're definitely not him. And there's that quest again. I really should just hit the X on these instead of looking at it every time. Okay. We have not actually used a healing potion on this character in a while. Which I guess isn't a bad thing. What is that? Have you found a Ryzen? Yes, we have. Yes, we have. 
But you don't put just regular salmon on top. You go and buy raw salmon, and then you have put uh, rock salt, sugar. Oh my goodness! Wrap it in aluminum, aluminum foil, and let it put it in the fridge and for 24 hours. And that's prep time. That is some serious prep time. Do you rejoice? To pursue a man who has done nothing. I forgot his voice is like that. I know you too followed my trail. Do you rejoice to pursue a man who has done nothing? There is no kindness in your hearts, no forgiveness. I am arising the humble, nothing more. When I escaped Durthang, I thought to build my strength. Find my allies, and rain destruction upon my jailers, and the great multitude of my enemies. But it is not to be so. And then you can eat it, it's like the best thing? I bet it's the best thing. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. I first went to Eisenmouth. I lost my voice now. See, see what you did. See what you did there. You know what? We'll we'll get back into it. Do you rejoice to pursue a man who has done nothing? I went first to the Eisenmouth, but the guards would not let me pass. I then went to my old camp, home to my servants and my sworn men both and found it hostile to me. They have given Otako the command, and all my servants and all my sworn men look upon me as a coward, as an unwelcome slain upon the Kandalar. Conspirators and ingrates, all of them. I sat down here by the road, once mighty horizon fallen so low as to have no place in all the world. I am not welcome in Gorgoroth. Even the orcs spit on me. And there is no place for me with my own kind, despite my long military service and impressive chain of titles and deeds. Otako has seen to that. And Gondor, do not make me laugh, vile pursuers. Gondor would not welcome one such as me. And I care not for that invading land anyway. I have been waiting here for you to catch up and put an end to this miserable day. I surrender to you do with me what you will, but if you levy death upon me now, you will shame yourself and all you claim to honor. I am arisen, twice imprisoned, first by one side, and then the other. What do you call yourself? Staffdang. <laughs> and he is Anoff. I have heard more impressive names. Truly, I have worn them myself. Do you want this trinket? It is of no use to me. I stole it from the vault of Durthang, for I thought it might be useful. Yes, I wanted a valued artifact to barter with some self-important green-blinded fool. You can have it, Staffdang. Rising gives you the heirloom he stole from Durthang. It has an unpleasant aura about it. You don't believe his sad story, do you? He was called Arisen the Wily for a reason. No matter what he name he takes for himself now. And Oth clinches and unclinches his fists. With frustration. <sighs> we 
We cannot kill him. He is a surrendered man, and the tale he weaves is of deep despair, whether I believe it is truthful or not. If we were to slay him now, we would be no better than a Grucor, who betrayed the Thandrim. But we must keep a close eye on him, and not forget that he is our enemy. That our other enemies have cast him aside does not absolve him of guilt for his crime. As for the trinket he gave to you, I think any study of it should be reserved for Mithrandir. I feel a great deal of evil emanating from it, and shouldn't the wizard ensure it not a devious trinket of horizons before we accept it? It is a small curio, easily held in one hand, and its design is not of Mordor. I think it was fashioned elsewhere. It may be that it is slay. It may be that its stay in the vault of Durthang has imbued it with the unpleasant aura that surrounds it. Bring it to the wizard and see what he thinks, Stafteng. And all sighs, clearly disappointed with the result of pursuing Horizon. I suppose we have to bring our captive out of Mordor. I do not like this, but we don't have much of a choice now. Man, we did not get to Horizon very early at all, and we're already quite a ways through this. This is, this is crazy. Crazy. Like, I think we're close to the end of, uh... Chapter one, right? We gotta be. We gotta be. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. We were lagging right into that. Oh man. Rubber bands for days. Yeah, we need to set our milestone. That is something that needs to happen. Uh, we're going the wrong way. Alright, well I guess what we can do is go to this camp. And then stable back. Hey Sniggy, welcome back. Do 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 da da. All right, we're nearly to camp. Hello, buddy. Hey. Dillerfin, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. All right, so let's see. We're actually gonna make this, because this is a much more centralized location and we come back here quite a bit. I almost always invest in a second milestone on my characters. It's just, it's just worth it. It's just worth it. All right. Come, come. Let's go back to a doom. Oh, hey, we can probably get stuff from... Oh, maybe. Let's see if we can get anything. May I help you? Wow. We got a lot. We got a lot. Alright. Dark skies. Dark, dark tidings. Dark tidings. Yes, yes, yes. The fact that I still remember that is kind of insanity. Uh... Let's try this. Oh, you gotta be level 115. What about this? Is there aught what you need? 
Heavy armor, okay. Light tower is set. Level 112. But we could go ahead and get it. Eh, we'll wait. We'll wait. Because who knows what gear we may or may not have then. Um... One fifteen. Oh yeah, we gotta get our not usable wall mounted. Well, let's dismount and see if we can use them. And I'm level one fifteen. So once we get to one fifteen, we can get those too. <laughs> Jeez. No, that that's not what we want. That's the exchange. What do you need? Water relic exchange. Dark skies, dark tidings. Essences. Will jewelry. Also 115, okay. I'm sensing a theme. Now then. That's not what I wanted. May I help you? Yeah, so you don't have anything yet either. Alright, well, we'll just have to wait, I guess. What do you got? Let us not, Teddy. That's all the crafting. Let's talk to you instead. Now then. Here we go. Your standing is too low. Alright, so we just need to increase our standing. Which we're never gonna do because we don't. Oh man. We're not gonna be able to get those relics. But we should be able to get them in the next zone, right? Man, that'd be worth doing the side quests. That might be a character improvement thing later on. We'll see. Their friend says, How are you doing? I'm doing great. Today's been amazing. We've been getting all sorts of new followers. Got a new sub today. All sorts of cool things going on. Got laundry done. Had fun watching Gussie Moose and Positively Evil earlier today. Got pizza. And like, nice Italian restaurant pizza. Good. It was good. Right, let's go talk to Gandalf. Got your eye vision checked today and it was perfect. Been awake since 7 a.m. and it's 10.30 now? Okay. I woke up early this morning and yet somehow I'm still very energetic tonight. I don't know. It's weird. Normally I'm not. What is this talk of prisoners? You have brought an Easterling out of Mordor? You tell me, Thrindir, about Horizon. And hand over the artifact he gave you. The wizard studies it closely. This is not an heirloom of Mordor, but it is wreathed with corruption. I will see if there is art to learn from it. But for now, you should not trouble yourself with Horizon or his pro purloined gift. Both will be watched. And we will see what might be learned from either. The air in Udun is filled with choking fumes and unhealthy vapors. And unhealthy vapors. <laughs> but hey, we get a necklace. Adventurers who have s adventurers who have sojourned. Gandalf. Let's hear your voice the again. air in Udun is filled with choking fumes and unhealthy vapors. Adventurers who have sojourned in Gorgoroth have reported a great deal of discomfort, not only of the spirit, but of the body. The air in Udun is filled with choking fumes and unhealthy vapors, but nowhere worse than that produced by the mines and foundries of Englach. 
I have prepared a number of restorative draughts that should bring comfort to the adventurers in Adun. I ask that you go to Anglac and give these draughts to any there who might suffer from these maladies. Tell them too that they must withdraw. Every moment they breathe the foul fumes brings them closer to harm and further from real recovery. The air of that place. Oh man. You got yourself a beer? Man. Alright, so now we get to make our way all the way back through. This time we're going to Anglac. Wonder what it really is big, because it takes a long time to even go through to here. Like, actually traveling around Mount Doom takes forever. And that's not even all of Mordor. That's the crazy thing. We're going to be getting a whole nother part of it later this year. Presumably later this year. They have been talking like that's the case. Hopefully it won't be pushed back. But if it does, that means it'll be that much better when we get it. So we'll see what happens. Quality finish beer? Man, you got all the best stuff. Make our way on. Discover the west road to Anglac. To your left, you'll find dead orcs. And to your right, you'll find dead Gondorians. Please don't look them in the eye. That's some gorgor out of wood there. Anglac is the cooler of the two fortresses in my opinion. I just really like the look of it. Like Durthang is alright, but it's clearly Gondor made Mordor. This is like Mordor. It's called Karhu. Guess what it means in English? I have no idea. What does it mean? Bear? You gotta be kidding me. You're drinking bear beer? And you are obsessed with the bears tonight. Bears? Beats? Battlestar Galactica. Alright. Hey, there's another player. The foundries of Anglac have filled the air with choking fumes. No, no. Well, that actually is a big deal. But, I mean, we're in Mordor. What do you expect? What do you expect? The Forges of Anglac. What is that? Not good, whatever it is. It's a baby Balrog. Right, let's talk, buddy. And by that I mean you need a drink. Ah, oh, that helped me a great deal. Thank you, friend. I'm getting out of here. Tick tock, diddly top. My vigor returns, and so will I, to the Black Gate and safety. Yeah, there's a campfire. It's not so bad. Unless that was made by the enemy. I guess we had to do these in a specific order, or did we just totally miss this guy? Ayan Nadan. That was just what I needed. I'm leaving while I still can. Dr. Belaith at Anglac. Are you still here, dude? What happened? 
He's holding his stomach. I don't. I don't know. Trying to get All right, let's do the uh, do the old screenshot here. It looks pretty cool. Try something like that. All right. Should be good. What have you done? You have stopped my men from their tasks. I led this group of adventurers. And if they are not fighting orcs or searching for treasure, they are not doing their jobs. The air here is foul. That is true. But these are strong men, and they cannot use that as an excuse to relax their effort. If you wish to help, you could make your way into the mine. It is delved behind the foundries here in the descents, ben descends beneath us for a great distance. Who knows what treasures await us in here there? If you care so much for the lives of these men, you would be doing them a service if you thinned out some of the foes that lurk in the mine. You might find some treasure too. Bring it out here, and I will return with my men back to the gate, so they may recover, but not before. Yeah, I kind of ditched that voice halfway through because that was just it's a little too over the top. Uh, is campfires like spawn spot uh, or can you heal from it? So it's used by hunters mainly. Um, it's like a quick travel thing so they can travel here. Alright, oh yeah, this is the spider fortress. Alright, let's get airball on this for sure. Yeah, I think it might have also some, like, restoring properties. Maybe it makes there be less of this. I don't know what exactly they do now in Mordor, but... The main thing is for hunters in general, it seems. For other players, it's mo usually pretty useless. Yeah, we are burning them away. Jeez. Defeat orcs in the mines below. Okay. I'll just worry about the orcs. Haven't found any yet, so... We'll try to do that. A lot of stuff that we don't need. Great. It's quiet here. Too quiet. There's an orc. Man, we cannot get away from that gear, huh? And forge workers, okay. Interesting. Alright. Make our way on across. I always like this room where they're building the siege equipment like Grand and stuff, presumably. Pretty cool. Like this is the staging camp for the invasion of Minas Tirith and it's pretty cool. The next round of the invasion would have been crazy. Grudmark Stone. I'm guessing that starts a quest. We'll see. Oh look at that, it starts a quest. We could get pants. But too bad we're not doing that, huh? Oh jeez. Burn it with fire. Here we go. Oh, 
Like, considering this character didn't do most of the questing and stuff like that, didn't get most of the gear preparation, the only thing we did was epic battles to get our gear ready. Like, it's kind of insane how well we're doing in Mortal. At least I feel, anyway. And there's Gron's brother. And sisters, I guess. Alright. Goodbye. Uh, bring the treasure collected to them at Anglac, which I'm assuming is way up. Da -da 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 -da. Hopefully it'll be up top and we don't have to journey through here to find him. Cause that'd be bad. That's just really cool, right? make spidery noises. Hello. Hello. There's the way out. Here's the door we can get a picture of. I've been looking for a good one. Uh, da, 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 da. More door. Alright. That's a more door door. And if I showed again, that's more of the more door door that we showed of more door. The more door door door. This is all you found? These few, these few babbles are the most treasure you could wrest from the mines beneath Anglac Foundry of the Great Sauron. <sighs> Places of great shadow will hold greater rewards, and we are on the outskirts of the land that where of of the lands that well his. Perhaps greater treasures will be found where the grip of the shadow is stronger. Beleth snorts. Or perhaps you did not know where to look, Staff Deng. Just as soon as my men have recovered from breathing in the noxious fumes of this place, we will be back. The real treasure must be hidden deeper within the mines. Even so... A deal spoken is a deal done. I will do as I said I would, and my men will have a few days to rest and recover before we return. Yeah, you're creepy and long lost, my friend. Alright, we'll go there so that we can go back up there so that we can go back to talk to Gandalf. Or Mithrandir. A ruin! Man, how is it going, buddy? Alright, I ruin. I showed everybody else this uh, at the start of the stream, but I, I want to show you this real quick. Let me, let me see if I can find it here. Let me see if I can find it here. So, we have a new thing on the channel. Let's see, I think I gotta go into this. Alright, here we go. So every time we get a new subscriber on the channel, it's gonna start the sub train. And this is what it's gonna look like. Yes, that is Sauron trying to get the ring, and the ring is going down, and the only way to stop it from happening is if we get another sub. So this has been popular on a lot of other channels and it seems to uh, encourage people to start subscribing more. 
So figured I'd try it out here. It looks pretty cool, I think anyway. It's almost like the eye is like beaming right at the ring, like all his focus is attention is on it. It, it. I think it's cool. All right, let's see here. Talk to you, buddy. Hey. Hey. Me, my, 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 now, now, now. <gasps> Quote from Hook. Heruin, thank you so much for the gifted sub. That is awesome, buddy. Hey, there we go, to Hard Hit. Welcome to the Dang Gang, Hard Hit. Thank you so much, Heruin, that's cool. Very, very cool. That makes two subs today. And a ridiculous number of followers. You open this as you're playing? Cool. Alright, Mithrandir, let's talk. To linger so near to Unglock is unwise. By the way, hard hit, uh, since you got a gifted sub. You now get two extra entries into the giveaway. And you also get the skirmish emote and all sorts of other stuff. Okay. I saw a group of treasure seekers returning from a dune. So I know you did your duty and completed, compelled them to return. They do not value their lives as greatly as they value the treasure. If they continue on this course, they will soon have neither. Treasure makes fools of all men. To linger so near the mines and foundries of Englach is unwise. For these seekers of treasure, or indeed for any, who can say that what foul work was undertaken by Sauron at Englach? Or what terrible craft was done there in the name of his war? A Ryzen sitting nearby laughs coldly. Dang. He fancies himself a wizard, does he? Iosen knows about wizards. And wants nothing to do with them. They are not as wise as they claim to be, nor as impartial. He says, none know what was made at Anglac, but that is already not right, for I know well. The great Ram Grand was made there, and wreathed about with spells. I saw it destroy the gate of the tall city myself. And if things had gone otherwise, there would be, there would have been no stopping it. Yes, I was in the war councils, and I heard the plans for Grand. Can this so-called wizard claim that? No, he cannot. It was a matter of pride for me. Arise in the included, but now I have been replaced. Replaced by Altacol, no doubt. He will not last. That at least is cause for comfort. Okay. 
he is impudent, and he is impolite, and he is abrasive. Mithrandir raises an eyebrow, and the faintest hint of a smile emerges from his beard. Something like that, I think, I think, I think, something like that, yes, 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 there we go. He may also be useful. I have had an idea. I wish Lodra had like the light bulb go off. Gandalf idea. Man, that's an emote we need, a Gandalf like light bulb. That's, that's what we need. All right. Okay, let's see, what do we got? Uh, don't want the might one. Don't want the agility one. Don't want the might, the other might one. All right, let's see, we got uh, less will, less vitality. We got outgoing healing. I don't think this is actually better for what we need. Let's see what we can equip on. The eyes of Gondor for more than a thousand years. What do you say? For more than a thousand, something about more than... Oh, I guess it's there. So we'll read that in a second. Uh, so we could get 3,500 finesse on it. Versus 4,000 tactical mastery. See, I don't think it's worth getting less will, vitality. Just for the... Because the only reason we'd want this is the two light. So what we're going to do is that... Uh, I need to hear Gandalf again so I can get the voice right. Mordor has been closed to the eyes of Gondor for more than a thousand years. Ever since the fall of Durthand and the explo expulsion of the Thandrim. It's weird because I do a different voice than what Gandalf in game does, but I need to hear that voice to do my voice. Isn't that, isn't that weird? Anyway. What transpired... Beneath the shroud of Gorgoroth reminded, remained unknown to us, and it brewed a bitter cup of rumor, and worry, and fear. That was in aid of Sauron's plans, as ever, for he knew the uses of fear better than any creature in this Middle-earth. But we have one in our keeping who witnessed the last days of the War of the Ring from the other side. Orizen walked in Mordor, when the peoples of Gondor and indeed of all Middle-earth could not pass the bounds of that land. What did he see? What does he know? He claims he was involved in high councils of war. Perhaps that is true. And perhaps it is not. But there is no question that he may have knowledge of Sauron's lieutenants, and we simply do not. Can he be forgiven of his crimes? If he can be so forgiven, he might be given a new life in Gondor in exchange for the information he possesses about Mordor and the power structures, his power structure in the Black Land, after the downfall of Sauron. Speak to Aragorn. It must be he who will forgive Arisen of these crimes, if any. And Aragorn's just right over here. Ooh, doo, 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 doo. I feel like Aragorn would have a council of people around him. I don't think Aragorn would ever be alone like this at this point in this story. And I find it kind of out of place that he's just all by himself. All right, let's talk, buddy. I have considered making a place in Gondor for the Nornhoth, but does I yours and merit the same treatment? For their enslavement in Mordor has stirred the hearts of the folk who freed them. I do not know if Arisen me merits the same treatment, Staffdang. The Nernhoth were cruelly mistreated by their overlords in Adun and elsewhere. 
Freedom was just a distant, half-remembered tale to them. But Horizon led armies against us. He commanded his people to fight during the war. And many good men died on Colandar blades before the White City. This is not an easy choice to make. Aragorn is silent for a moment, considering. Then he comes to a decision. The words of Mithrandir have not oft led me astray, Staffdang. Arisen will be given a new start in Gondor in return for the knowledge he can give us of Mordor. Speak to the wagon driver Rathnor, and arrange for Ryzen's passage to the city. Here we go. What's that? Another fellow needs passage back to the city. Aye. I'll accommodate him. There won't be much room, but I've got a little more space, if folk are willing to sit close. You should tell Horizon that he will have a place in Gondor. What is it? You tell Horizon that the King of Gondor has agreed to a bargain. Horizon will be given a home in Gondor and his crimes washed away in exchange for what he knows about the situation in Mordor. The Easterling studies you carefully, and then he breaks into laughter. <laughs> That's not the voice. What is it? What is it? <laughs> How grand. Staffdeng, an offer of pardon from Gondor. I spit out this offer. I am not interested in the charity of this king. I have not yet decided what side in this contest will be the victor. Why then would I ally myself with any of you? I have seen nothing to prove that Gondor will triumph in the days to come. But I know of many dangers that lurk still in Golgoroth, waiting. Your people have brought Nernhoth through the Black Gate and freed them from captivity. I have an exercise for you. Speak these names to them, and ask yourself why I would side with Gondor when there are foes in Golgoroth such as these still alive, still active, and still angry. Speak the name Dorgabeth. Speak the name Agukor. Speak the name Orodani. Does Gondor possess such terrors as these? I think it does not. Oh, dang. All right, let's talk. <laughs> From this side, it looks like he has like a bandaged nose or something because of the way his hair falls. I, I don't know. That's weird. All right. Dang. Let's talk. He was the mouth of Sauron. Vile knights rode at his command. At least shudders when you ask him about Dolgabeth and clenches his fists. I can tell you nothing of him that a dozen others could not. He was the mouth of Sauron, and his knights rode at his command. They plucked me from my village by the sea and marched me long leagues to Adun, where I was put to work at the forges. I only saw the mouth once, from afar. For he was too busy with Sauron's errands to spend time tormenting the Nernoth. But Sauron is gone. And if the mouth had a leash, it is now of him. He should not. 
We should not be speaking of him here, so close to Mordor. It will bring ill fortune. Speak no more to me of him. Dang. Everyone, let me know if you're still here, because I do want to talk to you about something if you are. You should not speak of Orudani. You are. All right. So here's what I'm thinking, everyone. Because, um, you know, I know you were gifted the uh, Total War game. I've been thinking a lot about how we might be working together in, like, a collab or a series or something like that. So here's what I'm thinking. The Eight Kingdoms, or Eight, not Eight Kingdoms, the Eight Princes DLC is coming out soon. So I think after I finish my series through uh, that, that maybe if you're interested, we could play through the Eight Princes DLC. Uh, it would require a purchase. Um, I'd be willing to pay for it, or you could either way. Um, and then we'd be able to play through that. What do you think? I know it's totally off topic from Lord of the Rings, but figured I'd mention it while you're still here. Aram stares at you close, coldly. You should not speak of Orodani. They say if you speak her name, she hears it and will come. Her kiss is death, her embrace torment. Have we not suffered enough? Let the stone maiden slumber and awaken her not. Who, Hukor, knows no mercy. He delights in death. Who just stares at you with wide eyes. And when he speaks, it is no more than a whisper. A Gurukor. He is the captain of the pit. He knows no mercy. He delights in death. Tears well in his eyes as he speaks. His face. Terribly scarred, but not always. They say Sauron punished him, punished him for something, held him, held him to the fire. Uja falls silent and will speak no more, but his trembling persists for some time. You're down, cool. Only issue you'd have, uh, play through everything you've played through? Uh, you don't have to. The DLC is totally, it's a totally separate campaign. All you've literally done is the menu so far. So I do recommend playing the game, uh, before we do a collab. Um, but other than that, um, I think you're fine. And like I said, you have... Uh, probably a whole lot of time because I don't think I'm even halfway through my series yet so you have probably you know three plus weeks still emphasis on the plus there I think but yeah I think that DLC comes out like this week or sometime soon it might already be out actually no it's not out yet anyway where were we Oh yeah, we're done. All right, good. Well, looks like Horizon was right. Might try streaming it uh, next week, actually. Highly recommend streaming it. I've had really, like, um, I've had just as good turnouts for that as I've had for Lotro, which has really surprised me considering I've never played a Total War game on this channel or even that many strategy games, to be honest. Of Rivendell? Man, I want to be a Rivendell. That sounds cool. Alright, let's Did talk. Did you see? Sauron may be gone, but his servants were many. And they were beings of power and terror. I have not seen anything of Gondor that can hope to stand even these three. And that is not the full extent of his lieutenants. And so I become a rise in the unwilling, and refuse this so-called king's offer of pardon. 
I will remain between the realms until I taste which way the wind blows, Stafteng. Right now, the breeze is rank, and it comes from Gorgroth. It looks fun. I'd be, uh, I know I'd enjoy it as well. Cool. BSM Raider says August 8 is the release date. Okay. Good deal, good deal. And yeah, we could be two allied princes going to war with all others, these six others, and then probably either you or me would say something that causes us to go to war, or we stab each other in the back. One of the two. It'll be great. It'll be great, everyone. You still want pandas in the game, though? Is that in the DLC? I don't know. I don't know, man. I actually don't know if pandas are in the game or not. Like, maybe at some point you upgrade your city enough that you get to see pandas. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Maybe in a part of the area, you know, in part of China that the game is portraying, they might have that. I don't know. I honestly don't know if there's pandas or not. But there should be. I hold that Horizon will still be useful to us. Indeed. He has already been so, uh, for I think the artifact he stole from Durthang can be made to serve our purposes. And further, he has given us an idea of the evils that wait within Gorgoroth. The shadow that hangs on Mordor is too deep for you to pierce it without powerful help. But pierce it you must if you are to combat the villains of whom he spoke. <laughs> so he's like, you can't do it, but you should. Thanks, Gandalf. Really appreciate that advice. You should really do this thing that you can't do. Jinjar, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Elrond's gift. I forgot about this. Item level 300. Oh, we gotta finish this quest now. Chapter 2.1. This would be a good stopping point. I think we'll accept this quest and see what the next quest is to do. And we'll decide if we get Elrond's gift this, this stream or not. We might have to save that for next time. I have studied the artifact that Horizon stole from the vault. We read that already, right? Oh, no. This is just the next quest. Alright. It bears a powerful corruption, but it was not made in the land of Mordor. It came from elsewhere, and the corruption that envelops it stems from a its long stay in the Black Land. If this evil could be cleansed, I believe that Elrond could imbue it with a powerful and vital force for good. Before that can happen, however, we must do something about the corruption that Mordor has worked upon it. There are different methods to accomplish this, though the wise disagree upon the effectivenesses of each. My preferred means for such a cure is to bring the corrupted item to the place where it was made, or to places of some significance upon its path, and to thereby diffuse the foul touch of Mordor that has, in the interim, claimed it. We must learn the story of this heirloom before it came to Mordor. The wizard turns the object over in his hands, studying it for some clue to its origin. To your eye, it is a simple bag of leather, sealed with a strap of cord tied 
in a simple-looking knot. Mithrandir sets his fingers to untying the knot, but the cord resists his effort. He frowns. There is more here than it appears at first, Stafteng, for untying this knot should be a simple matter. Yet it is not. There is some power at work here that keeps the bag sealed. Either that, or whoever sealed it was part of the Boy Scouts. When I shake it, I hear a sound of small stones. The bag is not empty. But what it contains... Hey, Aruin, thank you so much for the host. Really do appreciate it, man. But what it contains will remain secret until the bag is opened. I have seen bags of this type in the possession of Earth Kin, such as those that live at Limakota in the Ram Duth, south of Angmar. Speak to the chief, and perhaps he will be able to open the bag and remove the corruption that surrounds it. Wow, so we get to go all the way to Angmar. Great. <laughs> That's weird that the story continues in further. I guess it has to be at the top so that you see it when you... Anyway. Oh, no, because it's going to be 11, so it starts up back up there. Okay. Or I'm crazy. One of the two. Can you believe there are 10 chapters already in this thing? And there's going to be more very, very soon in the next update. There's going to be chapter 11. And then presumably, probably, what, we got four with Mordor? So presumably another three or four? So I'll take us to 14 or 15, which would put us right in line with the original epic story. How cool would it be? How cool would it be if they ended off the Black Book of Mordor in this next expansion and there were 15 books just like Volume 1? I think that would be super cool. It would be a significance. What would be really interesting though is if they had more than 15 chapters because if they do that, that would be the longest... I mean, I don't think it's actually the longest, because I'm pretty sure the Black Book can be finished faster than Volume 1. But still, that would be, as far as how they break it up, the longest anything we've had so far. So that would be interesting. Alright, let's actually go back to Minas Tirith. I think that's the fastest way to Angmar. From where we're at currently. All right, Sniggy says that they're going away to get some breakfast, and they're already back. Why are you not? Oh, we got to cool down for 24 seconds. All right, we'll wait 24 seconds, and we'll just we'll just sit here, having a good old time. Everyone says if we do a total war collab, and have two separate kingdoms. I just want two of our commanders to have a duel to the death. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to collab with you, <laughs> Eruin, if that's your first thought of what you want to see. So I'm guessing you're wanting to play the uh, romanticized version, or are you wanting to have the uh, full armies in the more historical version? I guess that's something we can decide later. All right, buddy, take me These to Runa. These are troublesome times indeed. So I think the closest we'll be able to get is Bree and then Rivendell. I don't think there's actually a direct path. Yep. All right, to Bree we go, and man, Locher needs to revamp their travel system. Good gravy. Please do. Except they won't now, because they have that fast travel system that requires Mithril. 
that allows you to travel anywhere instantly. All right, let's just make sure that we might as well start reforging some allies while we're here. Greetings, friend. Uh, da, 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 blah blah blah. Greetings, I guess. Didn't mean to be rude. Doesn't even matter. All right. Well, that was quick. Fifty-six, fifty-eight, sixty, sixty. So wow, we actually have a lot that we can deconstruct now. All right, let's do it. How can I be of service? Uh, we don't actually have that one. There we go. 56, 58. Don't need that one. There's a 60. All we're doing this for is just to get the mounted legacies, which we probably don't even need, because how often do you even use mounted in Lotro? But for some reason, we've set ourselves this task, and so we're too far dedicated now to be able to turn back. Hey, Lumpy Clump. Thank you so much for the follow. Really do appreciate it. Welcome to the Dang Gang. Falls just keep happening. I mean, we've had, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen follows today. <clears throat> that is crazy. Welcome, everybody. Nice to have you here. <laughs> All right, let's see. Deconstruct. Doesn't matter. Close it up. Okay, now what? Now what? We'll leave those, because that's kind of wasted. We'll go ahead and apply it there. And then a bear comes alongside you. Okay, now let's reforge. Can't believe we're doing this in Bree. Greetings, friend. Out of all the places to be taking care of legendary items, Bree's not the place that comes to mind first. Was that a full? Uh, 51. Felt like more. Felt like more. Alright, um... Let's move you over here for now. I guess up there. Cool. What do we got? More leveling up. Great. Okay, let's go to Angmar. How can I be of service? Uh, I think we actually have to go the other one, right? Man, we never have to go the other one. All right. So now the question is, do we want to ride there? We'll ride there. I like riding through Bree. I don't like taking the swift travel to the other side. I'm never in that much of a hurry. Wait, do we seriously not have... Rivendell? No, we're not going to Rivendell. We're going to Angmar, and then we're going to Rivendell. Because we need a step before we do the step, according to Gandalf. The oh great and wise wizard. The good old Lotro grind, right? Well, see, I don't mind it on this character so much because we just got an awesome first ager. Like, this thing is insane. And we've gone over it several times in other streams. If you guys want me to again tonight, I will. But, uh,. It's really cool. And so when you have that awesome of an ally, you kind of just want to finish the rest of your allies. I'm never again going to have another character that has allies like this. Never again. I can't do it. I personally cannot physically just... I, 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 no. No. Just not going to. 
It's not gonna happen. I can't bear doing that again. Like, it would take a lot, like, I would have to just fall in love with another class for that to be able to happen, and it would be, like, major, major. What can I do for you? To go to that level again. Now, that doesn't mean I won't have LIs or anything like that, but... Alright, I guess we gotta go to Esteldin first. I think that'll be the best way. Question mark? I have to go through Esteldin then? Yeah. Look at you, Jinjar. On top of things before I am. Good deal, good deal. Think you need to go to sleep soon? I think I need to go to sleep soon. I need to eat something and then go to sleep soon, but I do want to get this item first. That's the one thing keeping me going here. And all of you guys, of course. Wow, are we really up to 340 followers? I guess with that many new ones, that would do it. What can I do for you? This is awesome. I can't get over you guys on Twitch how, how much you guys service? have been supporting lately. It's crazy. There we go, Geth Fourth Near. As far as the whole subtrain thing, I've been trying to think of what I'm going to do for a Total War game. Because that's going to be tomorrow's thing, so. I'm wondering what images I should use to customize that. Should have gone to Oghire. That wasn't an option, though, right? Greetings. You have to go north and then south, apparently. Man, I miss the days when Engmar was new. And you can't even do that on the legendary servers because they advanced it too quickly. I really, 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 really hope that this next expansion is just amazing. Because if it's not, like we need something that just blows us away. Something that we can't believe how good it is. That's what I want. I don't want a good expansion. I want an unbelievably good expansion. We had Mordor, they got warmed up. Let's see what they can really do. <clears throat> Have a good stream. All right, take care. Thank you so much, Sniggy. Roving threats of Engmar. So your skin wants only peace. What? What, what was that? <laughs> You come to Surrey Klima village to lend your strength. If strength is measured in wit or in learning, maybe so. Jorthli, Jorthkiln have strength to spare. You show Chief Tuoki the seal leather, sealed leather bag and ask if he can use his great strength to untie the knot that binds it shut. He smiles, turns a, to a frown. His smile turns to a frown as he tries and fails to untie it. This is trick. 
Some magic keeps pouch closed. I don't know why I turned to Russian. Not, not nice of little lore master to play tricks. I forgive your joke, however. Strange to have pouch of Jorklin. Make, but not be Jorklin. Jorkin. Very old. Not seen. One in long time. Since before we came to Lemakotli. Maybe show to Ar Arnika. Hope for shiny things inside may help him try to open. Also ask Santu about Pouch. He carries skulls on path through canyon. See much. May know. Okay. Yep, we came all the way back here to talk to you. Yeah, you're you're okay. That's creepy. You are welcome here, little friend. And says you should totally do a roving solo a roving threat, you know, for the views. No, we don't do quests on this stream. We only do the main quest. That's it. You come to help Jork Lin Jorkin. Always welcome. But what is that you have? You show Arn Arnika the sealed leather bag. And he recoils. Not seen one of those since long ago. Used to be many Jorklin pa that had pouches like that. Do not remember why. But someone gave them to us. But this one. Something wrong. Feels bad to be near. Where did little lore master find? You know I'm a lore master. That's nice. You tell Arnika that the bag must have spent... That's what it says. Must have spent a long time in Mordor. And the evil that... And the evil of that place has corrupted it. But you hope to cleanse it of its corruption. Would be nice if could, little Lord Master. I do not remember why Jorkin had pouches like that. It makes me feel sad to forget. Makes me sad to see this one twisted for evil. Do not know why. Sorry. All right. What do you know, buddy? Do you come with peaceful words? What do you have? Where did you find pouch belonging to Tros Trotsiv? Snatu sees your puzzled expression and tries to explain. Many Jorthkin have used to have pouches like that, but that was long time ago. Only Trotsiv still had the, his. Very fond of it. Went away to pond where skulls gather. To southeast. But that is near Karlach. Trotsiv did not return. If you have pouch now, I think Trotsiv never coming back. Aww. In the pond, okay. You wonder if you can gift a sub to Nightbot? Well, I guess you can try. I saw an evil stream that they gave, they gave a sub to Ninja, even though he's not on the platform anymore. Pond's to the south? Is it in Angmar? 
Do I need to go over? Oh, it's in the North Downs, okay. Hey, there's only one way to find out, everyone. Friend of the Nine, the Knights who say dang. I like how our flag goes in front of our name on our steed. I guess the steed would go in. No, the steed doesn't. It's just the flag that goes in front of our name. How interesting is that? Because the horse's head doesn't go in front of our name, but the flag does. Ninja moved over to Mixer now, gonna be huge for Mixer. Yeah, Mixer is now gonna be even more in debt. <laughs> now, Microsoft had to pay a ton of money for him to move over there, and I don't think they're gonna get a good return on their investment. They're gonna get a lot more growth, but I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near the amount that they paid. I mean, it depends on, you know, if Ninja stays on Mixer and, like, how long Ninja stays on Mixer. But I don't see that, that working out too well in the long run. But who knows? I just know the li very limited experience I had on Mixer where I didn't didn't get hardly any, any traction on there. Uh, the first night I had several people tune in, but then it was just, like, after that, nobody was ever watching my stream on Mixer. Yeah, I don't think it's a sign that Twitch is a dying platform. If anything, it just creates more people to be watching other stuff on Twitch. Because there's going to be a lot of people that won't move with Ninja to Mixer. They're going to move to someone else on Twitch. And so there's now this huge vacuum void for Fortnite streamers to be getting huge amounts of traffic to their stuff and be getting huge amounts of subs to their stuff and huge amounts of all this stuff to their stuff. But here's the thing. There's Asmongold and there's other people on this platform that are not going to go anywhere anytime soon. Asmongold straight up said that he can now get all the subs that... Uh, are gone now. Was this like always here? Like I know this part of the map was, but was this particular lake always here? <laughs> defeat wargs. So we don't want to defeat the level 29s. So yeah, I guess this was always here, because there's level 29s here. I just totally don't remember this, even though I went through this whole thing. There's a quest for that skull there. Yeah, I remember that now. Very vaguely. It has been a long time. Well, there's one. Yeah, Shroud's another big one. I doubt Shroud will move. I'm not too familiar with Doc, uh, Dr. Disrespect. I mean, there's a lot of big streamers on Twitch, so I don't see that changing anytime soon. Because I still feel that Twitch is the easiest platform to grow on right now. And it's true that you do, in today's world, in order to stand out, have to have you know stuff on other platforms in order to bring, you know, create this ecosystem of platforms that allows it to all cross-pollinate and grow together. But, I feel like with raiding, hosting, and just the general niceness of the community on Twitch, in general, generally speaking, compared to YouTube, uh, I don't see Twitch going away anytime soon. 
anytime soon. The here's the thing: no other platform has something that Twitch has in its back pocket. Two things Twitch has in its back pocket. First thing is rating. Second thing is Amazon Prime, and which causes Twitch Prime. Free subs. Free money for Twitch streamers. As far as I know, no other platform has a system like Amazon does. Where if you're part of Amazon Prime, which most of the US is, you automatically have the ability to have a Twitch Prime. You have to, you know, set it up every single month and have to remember to be resubscribing every single month. But you get it. Automatically. That's automatically millions and millions and millions of extra dollars that you can be pumping into your platform for people to be paid that I don't think any other platform has. So I don't see, because of those two reasons, there are going to be changes on Twitch anytime soon. Anytime soon. Twitch is still growing. Twitch is still becoming closer and closer to one of the top, like it's, uh, last time I checked it was in the top 14, and that was years ago. Twitch is on its path to become one of the top websites on the entire internet. I'm gonna look up on Alexa right now. Top sites on the internet right now. Google, YouTube, Facebook, Baidu, Chinese language search engine. Timol. Some type of shopping thing. QQ, China's uh, most used internet uh, service portal. That's number six. Taibao. Taibao Marketplace, okay. So who is number eight? Hey, Morgoth Seer, thank you so much for the follow, really appreciate it. Wikipedia is number nine, Yahoo's number 10. Amazon is number 11. Oh, Twitch is not as high as I thought it was now. Unless Amazon now includes Twitch. That would be an interesting thing. 12 is login at Tmall, JD.com is 13, 14 is 360.cn, 15 is Cena.com. 16 is live.com, search engine for Microsoft. 17 is Weibo. 18 is Reddit. 19 is vk.com. 20 is pages.tmall. 21 is Instagram. 22 is Netflix. 23 is Twitter. 24 is Blogspot. 25 is Alipay. So Twitch has gone down in its rankings. 26 is yonder.ru, uh, 27 is Bing, Microsoft search engine, 28 is CSDN, don't know what that is, 29 is yahoo.co, 30 is livejasmine.com, 31 is microsoft.com, that's surprising. 32 is OKZone, 33 is Pornhub, 34 is eBay, 35 is Google, 36 is Twitch. So it's in the top 36. Surprised that Instagram is so high? Me too. Let's see. So Twitch gets 37. I'm, I don't know what this overlap score is. What is it? A higher score just shows it, so it's not a percentage. Um, but anyway, the top overlap with Twitch is Steam Community, if you can believe that. 
The Steam community section is the top overlap with Twitch. I guess because they're mostly, you know, getting people coming to the platform from uh, Steam event alerts and stuff like that. The second is Discord. I get that. The third is SteamPowered.com. Interesting. This is some cool data. Where's the history? I think you have to sign up to see the history. Uh... Okay, on uh, July it moved up to 25th, but now it's back to 26th in the US. It's actually number 18 in US. What was I looking at? The total rank on the internet? All right, let's look at US sites. Let's go back up to this by country. Where is United States? There we go. All right, in the United States, here we go again. Google, YouTube, Amazon. Amazon's number three in the US, right behind Google and YouTube. Number four is Facebook. Number five is Yahoo. Six is Reddit, seven is Wikipedia, eight is eBay, nine is Twitter, 10 is Bing, 11 is Instagram, 12 is Netflix, 13 is Force, I don't know what that is. What is Force.com? 14 is Live.com, which is that search engine for Microsoft. Uh, 15 is Chase, 16 is LinkedIn. That's surprising. 17 is Office and 18 is Twitch. Interesting. So like I said, Twitch is not going anywhere. It's one of the 18 top sites in the US and one of the 25 top sites in the world. 26, I guess, depending on the day. Twitch is not going anywhere. Like the minute amount of viewership that Ninja brings and consists of in the grand scheme of one of the top 18 sites in the US is nothing. Yes, he's a huge streamer, but in the grand scheme of everything, it's nothing. I don't know if Instagram was higher than Twitter on the world side thing. I guess I can go back and look real quick. Um, yeah, I'll have to reopen that. Luckily, I've got history. Global. All right, Facebook is number three on global. Yahoo is number 10, beating out Amazon. Can you believe that yahoo.com is still that big? Reddit's 18, Instagram's 21, Twitter's 23. Yeah, it's Instagram, Netflix, then Twitter. Yahoo.com, majorly beating out Twitter, if you can believe that. Interesting. Instagram is getting important, I guess. Yeah, I should probably get one. I don't know. I already have one, I just don't use it. I don't actually know if I have one. I know lots of players had one. Whom? You are not like the others that come to this place. What brings you to the still water? I do not count time the way you do. Hum, hum. I have been standing here, drinking water, and feeling the sun.
They do. I follow it on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, I know for sure Lotra Players does. I don't think I have one, though. I don't remember if I ever bothered creating one or not. Many creatures came to this place, and many creatures left. One remained. The skin you carry was his. What is the word? Bag? Pouch? A container for carrying. When he stayed behind, he became part of the earth. Oom. My name is not one you could speak. You could call me Rothalas or Rattleleaf. If you prefer to say so. I can tell you what I saw. If you want to hear. Whom, whom, whom. His rumbling ends. And there is silence. You decide that he is waiting for you to answer. Oh, we got a session play too? Man, I did not realize there was this much before we get to go talk to Elrond. Alright, we might make this be the last thing we do tonight. We'll see. I know it's not hard to create one, Eruin. The problem is, I don't know what I would be posting there. Like, I could post Lotro images, but... Yeah, I just don't know what I would be posting. Like, I'd be more likely to use Pinterest than I would. Anyway, let's go. Your efforts to cleanse the evils from the corrupted Earthkin pouch have led you to an end. A shepherd of the trees and the story he has to tell. He actually looks pretty cool. Not that ends don't look cool, but I just really like the way his face is. This was not long ago. By the counting of ends. But you would feel otherwise. Years? Perhaps. Yes. Yes, you would say years. But it feels much shorter to me. The wind in my leaves was very pleasant. I was always fond of standing by the pool's edge at sunset. There is nothing like a refreshing drink before night falls. A lot of streamer post uh, video clips on Instagram. They have a good chance of popping up in the recommended video section. I didn't know you could post videos on Instagram. I guess I did. I just forgot. Interesting. Oom. You wanted to hear the tale of the one who remained behind. I am sorry. For an end, every detail is important to convey. But you smaller races do not drink deeply of every flavor in the same way. Oh boy, haroom, haroom. Oh man. 
Just a wave of tiredness. This is definitely gonna have to be the last thing. Boom, 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 doom. His head turned like way over. Did you did you guys see that? The first creature was over here. He sat by the edge of the pool, and I thought we were quite alike. Each of us enjoyed this spot, the cool breezes, the still water, the feel of the grass. But then other creatures came. They were of a his kind, whom boom, but these were of a different sort. They did not pause to enjoy the breezes or feel of the grass. Sometimes the heart of a tree is rotten. I felt this was so of these others. They spoke. I told you not to come here any more, Trugthsvith. But this place, for all Earthkin, not anymore. This place, Engmar's place now. Crown of Iron, not master of Earthkin. She who made us gave us task to do. These days long past. Let others carry out their duties. Jorklin make own path. Rudvig throw away Sidbarg. Crown of Iron has much better gifts. Sidbag not gift. Sidbag responsibility. Blah. Throat sieve, not forget. Throat sieve, still have seeds. Maybe throat, rude, rude, will take seed bug. Maybe rude, will destroy seeds. No. What throat think to do? Throat we got numbered. Throat big. Take seed bag and go home. But Trovig not forget. Cannot allow Trovig to go. I take seed bag, Trovig. I take to crown of iron. Dang. That's one of the saddest stories in Lotro. I completely forgot about it. Getting bored of Ents here? Not exactly. It's just this voice makes me want to yawn. I don't know if you guys saw, but the Ent yawned too. At least he stretched. Huh? 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 I think his mouth was open there. And that's as close as we're getting to an Ent yawn. Alright. I can't see it. I can't stop yawning. Oh my! If you heard any of that, you you're perfect timing, right? <laughs> the end started. The end started the yawning. The other creatures went away, but the first remained behind and returned. To the earth. Whom, boom, tomb. Jeez. How crazy must it be for an ant? Like, the amount of time that goes by, and they just, they're just like, yeah, I went back to the earth. From dust into dust. Crazy. I saw it all, but it is not the place of the Ents to interfere 
in the lives of other creatures. My own charge. Look what you've done. My own charge is to tend to the trees. I am not a shepherd of anything else. She who made the earth kin would understand. Hoom, boom, toom. Radaleaf's eyes are deep pools, and you cannot be certain, but they seem to hold a deep sorrow. I know that this is so, root and branch, but I also know that I have done wrong, little man. I think the end is making you sheepish. Not the sheep thing again, everyone. Not the sheep. I'm gonna have to get a sheep emote. Like, th this is what you're doing to me, man. I, I need not to interfere. But I, I wish I did. Boom, boom. Toom. Whenever I come to this place, I will think of the one who remained. I did not get to read what it said. Ah, room tum. A clean breeze has swept away the reek of evil. The Earthborn and the Earthkin were given similar instructions, little man. We may not be kindred, but we tend to the same concerns, and our purposes are not opposed. The divide between us is a small one only. The divide between the earth kin I witnessed was much wider, and it was caused by Engmar. Ah, that is a name malignant. Harunti bum, harunti boom. The seed bag went to Engmar. But it did not stay there. They could not open it. Somehow it came to you. And it was sealed tight. And there was evil all around it. But now the pouch has been freed from the corruption that ensnared it. It is a gift from he who remained. Go now where you can best make use of his gift. <sighs> Not again. Not again. How am I? <clears throat> I will stay here and remember Haroom, broom, doom. He who remained could have given up his task and lived. He did not, and did not, and now it has come to you, Haroom. Boom. Yes, we poured it. Rivendell, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my goodness. Stop thinking about sheep ending. Yeah, that, that would help, right? 
might help you stay awake. Well, hey, we get to talk to Elrond after all. You will need the aid of a light that can pierce the darkness. I know why you have come, Staff Deng. If you are to journey beneath the shroud that covers Gorgoroth, you will need the aid of a light that can pierce the darkness. Aaron takes the pouch from you and easily unties the cord that kept it shut. With a solemn expression, he shakes the contents of the pouch into his palm, a number of unusual seeds. Oh, Elrond. I have not seen seeds such as these for thousands of years, Stafteng. How came they to survive? It must have taken a delicate caretaker to ensure they were not lost or destroyed. For many seeds are not properly valued if the fruit of their growth is not clear or known. I shall see that these seeds are planted. May they last beyond the age. I just had a thought. What if? Hear me hear me out, Chad. This is gonna sound crazy. What if these seeds are the trees that are super special that haven't been seen in a long time in Middle Earth? What if these seeds are tr seeds? of the Antwives. Maybe I'm reading way too much into this, but how cool would that be of a plot point that you could just completely forget about until way further along in the story? That'd be super cool. Keep smiling. Welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. See, I need to keep smiling in the chat so I remember to smile. I don't smile enough. Everybody tells me. I need to smile more. I need to buy that Roman app mode merch, I guess. Still remember when Light of Arendelle was a new feature in the game. Yeah. Back in 2017. Into seeds? I mean, maybe. What came first? The ant or the seed? You don't have to? Okay. For thousands of years, that thing. How came they these to survive? It must have taken a delicate caretaker to ensure they were not lost or destroyed. For many seeds are not properly valued if the fruit of their growth is not clear or known. I shall see that these seeds are planted. May they last beyond the age. Maybe white tree seeds? See, here's the thing. We find out about white tree seeds later. And I don't think Elrond made a journey to the top of the mountain just to get white tree seeds. Your name is per Pure Coincidence? But here's the thing, because don't they talk about somewhere how, this might have been a movie invention from Jackson, but I know somewhere, I remember hearing, that the the elves woke up the trees and that's what caused the ants to be a thing, right? That might be a Lotro invention too, I don't remember. But that's the general plot point, right? Is that the elves sing to the trees and then the trees become ants. So what if... These were unsung to yet trees of the Entwives. But they never become Entwives because the elves all left and there's no way to sing to them. 
this is getting extra complicated, and it, it's it's getting further and further from what probably is the case, but that'd be cool. No, the Ents were there when the Elves came to Middle-earth. Okay. I definitely heard that from somewhere, though, so somewhere there's something spreading the wrong lore. Arkham, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you here. Ents were created by the Valar. The Elves taught them how to speak. So the Elves did teach them how to speak. So that's what was taught. Okay. So the Ents existed, they just didn't speak. So this seed thing is definitely not an Ent thing, probably. So these are just special seeds. Okay. That's good to know. May they last beyond the age. Maybe it is Tree of Gondor stuff then. Thanks for not telling us, Elrond. Now that's gonna bother me all, all night. I'm gonna have to count sheep, everyone. Elrond holds the empty pouch and dips it into the font beside him. It emerges from the glowing circle. Light drips soundlessly from it and pools like water in the basin. An image rises unbidden in your mind. Trotsiv, standing alongside the others of his kind, only he remembering the duty with which they were charged. Now the pouch he carried shines as brightly as his defiance. His duty will be fulfilled at last. Aaron smiles, and his voice contains both determination and joy when he speaks again. With the light of Arindil, you will be able to walk where shadows lie and overcome them Erendil was a mariner. Let's see what's in the box. Seed of Defiance. The seeds once contained in this pouch were entrusted to da 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 da. He protected them. Mm -hmm. Though the pouch was brought into Mordor and corrupted and snared it, the seeds within could not be ruined or destroyed. And now you have cleansed it of that evil. Elrond has imbued it with the light of Arendil and believes it will help you banish the shadows of Mordor because it has 12 light of Arendil. Thank you, Elrond. So let's see, less will, less vitality. No tactical mastery, no finesse, but we're still going to equip it anyway. So here's the thing, that would give us more finesse, so we might as well do that, I guess. Really? So what, we have to have a rank 10 one, I guess? I'm level 322. Then I'm level 106. 105. So we have to use one of these on it? Yeah, we do. Ugh. So we can't use a rank 9, so we can only use rank 8. Or rank 7. Alright, well, we do have this one, which gives us will and vitality. That'd be pretty good. I guess we'll use this Supreme Essence. It's not great, but it's what we're going to do for now. So it still doesn't have as much will or vitality. But it has a ton of light of Rindel, so we'll use it. Plus the story alone means we got to use it. Okay. We'll read this, and then that will be the end of tonight's stream. We will be uh, rating someone as usual, of course, but that will be the end of what we're doing tonight. Hey, keep smiling. Thank you so much for the follow. Really do appreciate it. By the way, while we're having this conversation, um, 
did want to mention that there is a giveaway going on right now. And everybody that's already following already has an entry, they just have to claim it. And if you get, uh, if, you, if you are subscribed or if you got a gift sub, you get free entries into the giveaway as well. Just as a thanks for being a sub. Same thing if you're a patron or uh, several other things. You just follow that link, buddy. That Nightbot just posted. <clears throat> Arindil was a mariner, Staffdang. And he braved storm and roaring wave. He bore shining light out of darkness. Man, I wish we got a session play of that. He voyaged through sadness and woe, cresting the waves of his sorrow, and braving the winds of wrath to bring hope from afar. He travels up still upon his errand, not upon the seas of the world, but those of heaven. The light of the Silmaril on his brow showing the way. Aron falls silent and gazes up at the sky, remembering distant memories. For all the Eldar, the light of Arindil's star is counted most precious. It is a sign of hope for all who labor against the great enemy or the multitude of his servants. For me, it is something more. Be careful, Elrond. If Gandalf hears you talking about that precious terminology, he might think that you have the ring. Elrond did a bait and switch. Arindil was a mariner, but he was also my sire. When I look to the stars, I remember much that has now gone beyond the circles of the world. And the joy of memory is tinged with sorrow of loss. I give you this gift so you may bear the light of Arindil with you. And it will be a shining lamp in the darkness. Talk to Mithrin, dear, outside the Black Gate of Mordor. Well, I think we're going to stay here, because, man, talking to Elrond not even in his library, that alone, that alone is noteworthy. we got to stay here by the birdbath. Elrond's good old birdbath. Yeah, Rivendell does look good this time of year. <laughs> See what I did there? Alright, anyway, um, yeah. Happy times here in Rivendell. I hope it's okay if I just listen to your smooth voice. Sure. I'm really thinking those seeds are from the trees of Valinor? Would make sense. Yeah? Good stream bedtime for this old lady, though. I'm going to be going to bed soon to myself. Yeah, that would make sense that they would be seeds from Valinor. Interesting. Wow. The light of the trees. As now one of our items. How amazing is that? That's even way better than the Entwives. Although I do want to see them address the Entwife thing at some point. Everyone, thank you so much for the bits. And all the shamrocks. I think Ruin just wants to be on the leaderboards. But 
no, I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you for the gift sub as well. Very, very cool. All right. Oh, man, this has been a lazy end, at least, in the stream. We started out with a bang, but then we're now like... I'm sending you luck for sleeping tonight. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. All right, let's go find somebody to raid. But before we do that, thank you everybody so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for more content. Take care, everybody. Have a great night. Or morning, because it's morning now. Take care, everybody.